Greetings friends, today I'm going to show you how to turn off your shot meter in NBA 2K25 and this is a tradition unlike any other as people always ask how do you turn on and turn off your shot meter. Now in the past you normally would have to go over to controller settings but this time it's a little different. So what we need to do is go over to my player, go over to animations and then we're going to make our way over to where it says customize HUD and so after that, we need to go over to where it says shot meter shots. And then here is where you could go and turn on and turn off your shot meter. And you can turn off for different things. So you can turn off for uh, jump shots, layups, free throws, etc. Maybe you want to leave it on for certain things and, and turn off for some other things. And you can mix and match however you want. And so that is how you go about uh, turning on or turning off your shot meter. And then you can do some other stuff here the graphic, the. Uh, color size placement all that type of stuff there so a little bit more customization here to go and uh turn off that shot meter and so that's how you go about doing it at least in my career and so now i'm gonna go ahead and show you if you're more of a just a play now player some simple like that my nba something like that then i'm gonna show you where you need to go and uh, turn off the shot meter there as well all right y'all so if you want to go and turn off or turn on your shot meter for play now and things like that then what you want to do is go over to where it says features and then go down to the bottom here where it also says features <laughs> and then go to customize hud here so go to your hood and it's the same exact thing here as we showed for my career and so yep same thing here same options and everything and so that's how you go about turning on or turning off the shot meter for other game modes outside of my career and so that is how that works all right so there's one more thing i wanted to point out now i recommend you turning off the shot meter the ways that we talked about earlier but there is another way you could kind of go about doing it as well so let's go over to options go over to controller settings and then go over to where it says shot meter input type and so what you could do here is basically set the shot meter for the shot button that you use the least or the shot, the shot option that you use the least so if you are a shot button user if you hit if you uh, press like square to go and shoot then what you want to do is set the uh, shot meter for pro stick only because you, you don't you don't use that so and then that way the shot meter will not appear for when you uh, press square um, and stuff like that so or of course if you do want to have the shot meter on then and if you do press square to shoot then you want to have it uh, have the uh, shot meter input set up for shot button only and then that's how that will work there um but yeah that's that's another way to kind of go about doing it if you so wish to and um yeah but uh but it's recommended just to go do it the other way just you know because you, you turn it off in the 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 custom hood then you know that just you know eliminates the, the shot meter completely for everything so um yeah and so that is uh but this is just another little way i guess you say it's kind of a little lazy way to go about doing it whatever <laughs> whatever you want to call it but just thought i'd just point that out too if you want to do it that way as well um and this is actually a good thing too because maybe you're kind of maybe you kind of like doing both maybe like having both the shot meter and not having it so um and if you use both the pro stick and the shot button to go and if you like alternate using those to go and shoot um then you know it gives you the best of both worlds say okay well i can i, I can use the shot meter i can see the shot meter when i use pro stick but then when i press square i don't see the shot meter so you kind of get the best of both worlds so whatever if you use both pro stick and shot button and you alternate that for shooting um then you can see see uh see and unsee the shot meter for both of those so yeah so if you want to kind of go both ways then this is another way to go about uh looking at it too um um and stuff like that so that is for sure so but yeah just thought i'd put that out as well so there's a massive new addition coming to nba 2k25 and if you aren't aware of what that is then this video popping up on your screen right now will tell you all about it and i'll talk to you next time peace adios sayonara Ghost Panda, out of here.